Welcome back to our lesson on ketones. Now that you've learned what ketones are and how to treat them, let's practice. Remember, to treat ketones you need extra insulin to help get your blood sugar into the body for energy. How much insulin you give is based on your total daily dose, TDD. If you have moderate ketones you will give 10% of your total daily dose. If you have large ketones you will give 20% of your total daily dose. And don't forget your blood sugar has to be above 240. If it is not above 240 eat carbs without dosing to increase blood sugar and then dose for ketones. For our practice your total daily dose is going to be 30 units. Practice 1. It's 1 p.m. and your blood sugar is 300. Do you need to check for ketones? Yes. Check for ketones because blood sugar is above 240. Your ketones are moderate and the last time you dosed for insulin was 10 a.m. How much insulin will you need? Great. The answer is 3 units. Remember that 30 is your total daily dose. 10% of 30 would be 3. Okay, now for practice number 2. It's 2 a.m. and you wake up with a stomachache. Your blood sugar is 180. Do you need to check for ketones? The answer is yes. Don't forget if you have any sick symptoms you want to check for ketones. Your ketones are moderate. What do you do next? If you answered that you need to get your blood sugar above 240, you are correct. Good work. Next question. You did the 15 15 rule and now your blood sugar is 260 and you have large ketones. The last time you got insulin was before bed at 7.30 p.m. How much insulin will you need? Great job! The answer is 6 units. Remember your total daily dose is 30. Plus, you have large ketones which means you will give 20% of your TDD. 20% of 30 equals 6. So, you would give 6 units of insulin. Moving on to our final practice question. Practice 3. It's 3 p.m. and your blood glucose is 280. Do you need to check for ketones? The answer is yes. Absolutely, you should check for ketones because your blood sugar is above 240. Next question. Your ketones are moderate and the last time you dosed for insulin was 2 p.m. How much insulin will you need? The answer is, none right now. You want to make sure it has been two hours since your last dose of fast-acting insulin before you dose again. Wait until 4 p.m., recheck your blood glucose and your ketones at this time and then dose if necessary. If your symptoms have not improved after four hours, please feel free to call the diabetes team at the location nearest you for assistance.